This is definitely the weirdest piece that I picked up at CCKS last weekend. And uh, one of the oddest pieces in the collection, I'd have to say. This is a Mundus Knives Alchem. Uh, these are being distributed by Pokilo Blade. I'm not sure exactly what the relationship. Uh, I heard something about Mundus Knives had um, problems with customs and a batch got seized. And so now they're being distributed through these guys. Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's going on with that. But the design is by Mundus Knives. And it is freaking wild. I know there's been a bunch of videos out there. Um, I know I've seen a bunch of videos, but they didn't really tell me exactly what was going on in this thing. I thought it was some sort of two-bladed monstrosity, and you just toggled between the two blades. And that is not what is going on at all. It is actually the same blade. And depending on which way you have the pivot set, it either leaves it in the dagger blade configuration when it opens fully, or if you have it set the other way, when it gets to right about here, it starts camming the blades apart into that weird, awesome split blade crazy sci-fi futuristic i don't even know it's it's freaking cool though all the styling on this thing is just so wild and then you add the the crazy mechanism that cams the blades apart even the lock with its segmented multi-piece construction that interacts with a notch on either side of the tang you can see them right there too It is so wild. And the way that it does that, get this thing most of the way open so you can get a close up here. You can actually see in the center of the blade there is a double sided rack. Uh, and then you have 10 pinion gears on each arm there that are being rotated as the rack is drawn back. And that brings the blades out and up into the split configuration, depending on which way you have the pivot set, which, uh, I don't know if I can show this one-handed on camera, maybe. Set this down here, there we go, focus. You can see there's two pieces on either side, right there and right there. Those are what interact with the rack and the blade pull it back, and then uh, cam the blades into the split configuration. It's so freaking wild. And no, most likely there will not be a teardown video on this. I asked the makers what was involved in disassembly, and it is intense, <laughs> to say the least. There's so many cool details on this thing. This weird backspacer, zipper style... I'm not even sure how that is constructed. You can see light through it. So it's two piece at least. And then see if we can get some lighting in there and the blade well. There's actually a tuning fork built into each side of the handle for no other reason than uh, to give it the most awesome ping as it's cycling. It, yeah, <laughs> this thing, I'm still figuring out exactly how to, how to handle it in a smooth fashion. But once you get the hang of it, it is actually very fidgety. You do obviously have to give it a little extra oomph when you're opening it in the split blade configuration so that it'll split the blades open, pull that rack back. There's a little bit of a spring bias into the normal dagger configuration, I believe. When you have it set for the dagger, it just drops all the way open. It is single edge here, here, but the tip, focus, the tip is actually double edged and zero ground and wicked sharp considering it's got like a, focus, 
like a 60 degree included edge, edge angle, but it is sharp, not particularly slicey, but it is sharp. So yeah, I think everybody but me knew that I was going to wind up with one of these. <laughs> Definitely a cool piece. The uh, stone washed or black washed titanium versions were $13.50 at the show, which is not cheap, but also for what this thing is and how many crazy machine titanium parts are in this thing. It's really not bad for what you're getting. I didn't feel bad paying it at all. They also have a zirconium and gold hardware one that's really, really sweet with a black DLC blade and a full dress one that has a Zirkutai frame and SM100 blade material. Super, super cool. I did get videos of those. Uh, I may upload it. The audio is terrible, even using the microphone. It was so loud there at the table that you, you really can't make out what I'm trying to say about them. But uh, you could still take a look at the really, really cool full dress piece. So yeah, there you go. It's been a little more long-winded than I intended. But uh, there's just so much cool stuff to say about this. Oh, one other thing that uh, Kevin, Knife Nerdery, and I noticed while we were looking at it. It looks like you could actually put a pin through there and uh, have a, a secondary safety measure, uh, similar to a, a Demco pin. Not sure why, but you have the option. So there you go. 